it's Friday, January 15th. Um, headed to Big, Big Horn Lake this morning just to go catch a few fish, hopefully. Um, going with James again, the guy that went with us on Fort Peck. And uh, we're we'll trying to get into one of his spots for some catfish. So we'll get down the road and we'll go from there, see what happens. So we made the lake. James is out there drilling some holes, checking eyes. I'm just getting ready to go load up the trailer and get out there. Nice cold morning. So we're hopefully gonna get the trailer in a place where we can jig a little bit and then set some tip ups across the river channel. So here we go. Mm -hmm. And when I went back, the barber's down. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. So they're coming through. It's about noon. About Just like we thought. We came here for the catfish, and James got one. Nice. That's pretty fun. I love it. See, this is actually a pretty small one, though. Yeah. Because most of them we catch out here are quite a bit bigger. I have yet to catch a cat through the ice. You're, no kidding. So that'd be fun. Wow. That's why I was interested in this place. Yeah. So, good, oh, good deal. Right on yeah, right on the lip. You did oh. good. Cool. All right. Well, James, good job. Way to break the ice. Okay, we're in them now, Joe. That's right. So, our neighbors are catching a few more fish closer into this bank here so I just went and moved all my tip ups closer in can't argue with its success so I'll show you what they've been getting so I have yet to catch a catfish through the ice in my career and I'm hoping we can end that today so they got a nice sauger there couple nice cats so hopefully we can do the same getting ready to be the good time of night that sun's getting close to the hill so James got him a sauger <laughs> and he, we're getting it cleaned up good <laughs> nice good deal well good job man So I'm going to button up the trailer right now and get it loaded up. We're going to, we're going to still fish past dark, but fishing's pretty slow. That's where they call the fishing, not catching. Well, we got the trailer off the ice. Now we'll go fish a little bit. Well, that was a day of fishing for me. Um, I didn't get any. Had a, I had a flag, one flag, and nothing, nothing came of it. That's okay. Had a good time. Glad James got into a couple, and the guys that were fishing next to us, they got three or four. So it was kind of good. I'd never been to that part of the lake, so learned a lot, and uh, can't beat a day on the ice it was a beautiful day so i um am in thermopolis wyoming right now actually no i'm in Worland, in Worland, wyoming headed to thermop and um it's about nine o'clock at night and i'm gonna go spend the next couple of days on boyson reservoir um it's right you go through the wind river canyon and there's boyson reservoir which is upstream from the lake we were just on, Bighorn Lake. So, I've got a gentleman that is wanting to show me a special spot this trip. Just, you know, trying to get me on some bourbon or ling and uh, 
should be some trout, walleye, and possibly some perch. So hopefully we'll have a good next couple of days. I'm pretty bushed right now, but fish hard, man, fish hard. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so we'll see you in the morning. So Saturday, January 16th, 2020. Um, just stayed in a parking lot last night in Thermopolis, Wyoming. Headed to Boyson Reservoir. Hopefully we'll have a good trip today. Gonna go hit Mickey D's, grab some grub, and be on our way. Okay, so we made the lake. We're here with Eric and Angela. Hey guys. Hey. And Eric just had a flag. Just missed a perch or a sauger walleye. Who knows? So we'll get get it back in the water, put another minnow on, and go from there. So Eric's got a flag here. I don't see any spin, but we'll see what he sees. People are starting to show up. We had another flag. Missed it again. <laughs> That's all right. He's not too happy. Well, we had another flag pop, but it's not spinning yet. The day of the flags. Okay, so we got the jacker. Probably a nice trout, I imagine. Yeah, big old trout. Oh yeah, <laughs> nice deal. That's a beautiful fish. Thank you guys. No problem. Awesome stuff. So we're fishing mid column right here. Had a flag pop. We'll reset that real quick. And the jacker, this is mid column too, right? I, think so. I believe so. I uh, might have lost him. Dinking around. No, you still got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Not as big yet. See what you are. Oh, another nice rainbow. Yeah, that's a lot nicer one. Woo, doggy. Okay. <laughs> well, Eric's happy because he's my guide today. Oh, look at that. Female here. Yeah, thank you. It's always good to get people into fish, isn't it, Eric? Yeah. Thank you. Good deal. They're popping. That's too funny. So Eric's looking through my window of my trailer and tells me I have a fish and I thought he was talking about the rods inside. But he was looking through the window and saw this one. All right. Oh yeah. Uh-oh, don't let me lose him. I gave him too much slack. Rookie boy. I bet we're taking the guys off around us, aren't we? <laughs> no, because they just landed one. Good. Come on, buddy. Yeah, buddy. These suckers are pigs. Oh, hey. Aki. Aki, come here. So they got one and they just had a flag. Good. All right. <laughs> so I've just got a buckshot rattle spoon on these new rods I did. Um, and we're throwing a little minnow on them. I'm wishing my dad was here. He'd get a kick out of this. Just throwing a little tiny minnow on. And dropping it down about 12 feet down. Ooh. All right. Throw it in the jacker.
And the reason we're doing this like that is because when I was setting a tip up earlier, uh, my fish finder beeped at me at about halfway down the water column. And so I held the line and got a hit. So I thought, well, let's put some jaw jackers out and uh, fish for some trout. And this water's so clear, they can see that minnow from a mile away. So today has turned in to be a jaw jacker day. I store them in this little pelican case. Getting ready to fish for ling tonight or burbot. That's kind of where I set my tent up is in about 21 feet of water. Getting excited. It's pretty good when you have to put lotion on your hands when you're catching fish. That means you've been catching them. I heard the bells. <laughs> I heard the bells ringing. Another pig rainbow. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> little smaller but very healthy so we are just chit chatting and boy that fish wants to take that rod down the hole rocking in the free world baby yeah it wants to take it down the hole doesn't it that's just fun for the whole family i guess i'll take it don't let me forget, I got a beef and cheddar in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> hey, big old rainbow. I can pick up. Good deal. Nice. I can... Trout. That pink, that pink spoon, definitely. Yeah, that red one's my favorite color on those. This is a uh, Northland buckshot rattle spoon. Red's always my favorite go-to, so they were on the clearance rack is why I bought them. <laughs> we're coming out to check this jacker and we just got one on this one. Go ahead, Angela. Man, that, well, that might be the same one that was taking it to the bank last time. Nice. Good deal. Switching directions on me. Let's see the save. Let's see the save. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, I told you that. <laughs> <We're good. laughs> well, that's good stuff. That All was right. a good rainbow. Yeah. Come on, Jeffy. So these guys have a pretty cool setup here. They're cleaning holes out, and then she comes up with a squeegee. I thought that was a golden idea. A little nice when the ice is smoother though, huh? A little bit. Well, I mean, that just slick. I can't tell you how many fish I've lost with bad ice around the holes. Good deal. Good deal. It's a big old bull. I mean a monster. Nice job, buddy. Just what you want, huh? It's a big rainbow. Let's play him out now. Hook him to the dog's tail. He'll bring him up, huh? There you go,
You're not gonna go down to your elbows this time? Nice job, man. That's a beautiful Wyoming rainbow trout. Right in the snoot, dog. You gotta take lessons. You don't want that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. He's a ripping and roaring. Ah, might have lost him. No. Another big bow. Beautiful fish. Oh, what a rainbow indeed. Holy cat. Wow. Oh, that is a trip maker right there. <laughs> right? Yeah. Heck yeah. Hey, you're getting your head wet. <laughs> Good deal. So everyone comes and plays with the uh, walleyes and saugers and ling, but Boyson's got nice rainbows. Yeah, very nice. This is three and a half pounds in my hand. Maybe three, but it's, it's up there. So I'll show you what that fish just took. It's a crocodile lure. This is my favorite one to fish with on Buffalo Bill Reservoir for lake trout. So it's got that hook that hangs down below the other two trebles. I'm hooking my minnow on one of those short trebles. So I'm hoping if they get the minnow in their mouth, they're gonna grab that one too. So yeah, it's a beautiful crocodile. It's uh, number three by Lure Jansen. That's a healthy fish. I hope it's a ling, man. It doesn't feel like a trout. This is about 21 feet of water. Oh, baby. <laughs> you just made my whole night, buddy. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so happy. That made my whole night right there. With the, and with the sunset back behind you, that is why we came, was that fish right there. Barney the Burbot. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome. <laughs> GoPro. Okay, so we lost the light down the hole when the jacker popped. I'll ask Eric to be my cameraman. This ought to be easy. I'm gonna take a magnet, put on the end of that. Ooh, it's not a very good magnet. I don't see, I don't know. Oh, it might be deeper than it looks. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, Prospector's Recovery Channel. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? I can't believe that thing's still working. Sweet. So we're going to say goodnight to Angela and Eric and thank them very much. Yeah, not a problem, man. Put us on some Slimers today and got my burbot. My ling. They don't call them burbot up here. So. Ling. Ling a ding. So thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. No problem, man. Thanks. So Angelo was looking at a big skunk until now. Good job. Last minute. Last minute flag. Nice little burbot. That dog does not know what we're trying to do, does it? I need your help. I think the dog's worn out. What do you think? Good job. <laughs> Better than a skunk. Yeah. You're a lot more gentle than I am. There we go. Good job. Okay, Mr. Slimey. Mm -hmm. You can go right back in there. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh-oh. There we go. 
He's probably been sleeping while he's chewing on your minnow. Cool. There he goes. Just had to decide it was time to leave. Well, good job. Yay. Nice work. Okay, so it is 11.52. I was just getting ready for bed and that thing started beeping. Let's go see what's going on here. It's not looking like we got a fish. But I will show you this. I put a little swivel on my uh, blue tips. And so I looped them on the line. They lay down on the jaw jacker there. And when the fish bites, boom, boom, boom. I rest it right on there. So it's rested. The blue tips is rested right on the rod there. And when the fish bites it, he'll pull that slack in the line out and it tips it up, goes to my beeper and gets my rear end out of bed. Let's do it again. Just hauled the generator in for bedtime. Got me a burbot. Nice. Good deal. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Ha 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 ha. Love it. Yeah, it was fun. I was just standing outside watching the stars. Boom! The jacker popped. And he can hear that baby popping off too. Ha <laughs> ha! Just a little dink. But you know what? <laughs> That's awesome. It is 12.24 a.m. He slammed it. <laughs> Quick release. <laughs> Good times. So yeah, I just got that blue tips. Boom. Come on. So it's laying flat. Fish takes it. Boom. Starts beeping here, and then you can hear the beeper behind us. Just like a champ. I just taped a swivel to that earlier tonight. Not bad. So I'm going to try to get to bed now. Um, the only thing that will get me up is a another burbot. So it's hard to sleep sound when the alarms are on, but oh well. It's fun. Enjoy it. Okay, guys. Just got a buzzer again. Ugh. No rest for the weary. <laughs> Let's go check it out. So it is 12.50 a.m. on the pink rod so I hope you still got him looking good Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Let me go grab a forceps. Grab a couple more minnows. Boy. <laughs> he took it deep. 
Oh, that's a little jig I made, homemade. Cool. All right. We'll throw him back in. Nice. <laughs> I grabbed a couple more minnows. We've been trying to catch a fish on that jig all night. I've had like five different flags on that jig. So that's exciting. <laughs> what not to do by Joe Wasmer. Okay. Get back down there. All right. I just turned over to get comfortable. And she popped again. One thirty. So they're coming in pretty pretty consistently so we'll keep uh, trying to get a little shut eye and get them when we can All right. yeah go get my minnows okay there's a minnow So it's 4.35 a.m. Uh, we still got it, maybe. It's hard to tell. It's bent over, but that could be because it's frozen into the ice. Well, that's too bad. Something tripped it, though. So it's 6 a.m. We got a flag. Doesn't look like a fish though. So something stole our minnow. We'll put another minnow on. So it's 6.40 in the morning. Got a different flag. Oh, we got a fish on this one. Must have just been sucking on the minnow. Yep, he stole it. So while I was walking out, this jacker put it over here. He was on for a minute. Darn it anyways. He stole our minute too. So, they're coming through. So I think I'm gonna wrap this trip up. Um, I could stick around, catch some rainbows, maybe even some walleye, but uh, I'm done. So we'll get cleaned up and get ready for the next trip. We'll go home and kick up the feet for a day or two and see you on the gorge. So thanks for coming along as always and uh, hope you enjoy. I had a fun trip. Thanks, special thanks to Eric and Angela for getting me out here. Um, just a, a lake I hadn't fished in a lot of years. So, appreciate that. We'll see you on the next one. So that's a wrap. Um, Thought I'd throw one more thing out there. If any of you have any ideas how we could have kept those Ling Burbot on with those jaw jackers. Only in Wyoming. There's five turkeys right there. Oh, six turkeys. Wow.